Hello guys and welcome again to another video on Codility Solutions. This time we will move on to lesson number 5 and specifically the count divisibles problem. And I must admit it's one of those problems that gave me hard time to find and digest the efficient solution. Which is why actually I find it more interesting as a challenge. You could always go for the brute solution but then you would only get around 50 to 60 percent as a score. So let's get started. We are given three numbers a, B, and K. And we have to find the numbers between A and B that are divisible by K. So obviously here K should be less than B in order to have at least one number that is divisible by K. And we are provided this example A equal to 6, B equal 11, and K equal 2. And we have to count how many numbers between 6 and 11 are divisible by Two. Note here that all these numbers are integers and for a number to be divisible by a certain number we have to have the modulus remain equal to zero. Meaning if I do let's say six modulus two it should be equal to zero. And this is what they meant by uh, divisible. So in this case our function should return three because we have three numbers that are divisible by k. These are six. 8 and 10. If I divide 6 by 2, I get 3. It's also an integer. If I divide 8 by 2, I'm getting 4. And 10 over 2 is equal to 5. So all of these will give us an integer uh, result. So at the end, my function should return 3 because I have 3 of those numbers between A and B. At first, this problem doesn't look very hard to solve. It's even looking very easy. And this is mainly because the brute algorithm does a good job finding the correct answers. Uh, so if we say for each number between A and B, we can test if the number is divisible by K, meaning if this number modulus K is equal to zero. And if it is the case, we increment a counter. And when I finish testing all the numbers between A and B, I'm simply returning the counter as uh, a result you will get a correct answer. However, it's not efficient enough to score 100% on the Codility website. There is a different way of doing this, but first we have to understand a couple of points here. Imagine A equal to zero and B equal to 10 with K equal to two. And we are trying to find the number of divisibles between zero and B. In other words, we are trying to find the number of steps of two that we can find between zero and 10. So if we start uh, with the number zero, we move on to the number two and then four and then six, eight and 10 and so on. So here we have one, two, three, four, five and six divisibles between zero and 10. If we take into account the edges that are the, the number zero and 10. And if we divide B meaning 10 by K by two, which is what you are seeing here, then we get number five. In other words, this expression here, b over k, will provide me the number of divisibles between 0 and the number b without taking into account the higher edge or the number b itself. And this example would also work if you take k equal 3 or 4 or any other value, of course. So this looks like uh, asking the question of how many times you need to add k to 0 in order to exceed the value of b or to reach b. It's very important to start at zero because zero is divisible by any number. And if you add n times k to a divisible number, you will obtain another divisible number. So keeping all of this in mind, the number of divisibles between two edges, a and b, is the number of divisibles between zero and b minus those between zero and a. As we can see here, using this expression will provide us what we are looking for. There's only one edge case to take into account. In the case of B is also divisible by K. In this case, we have to take this into account when we are writing our code. We add one to our counter of divisibles. The reason this solution is more efficient is because you don't even go through an array of numbers. You are basically executing an expression. And your computing time is always constant, regardless of the array of numbers. So actually, it is very efficient solution. And this one would provide you a 100% score on the Codility test. Now let's jump and see how to write this in C++ and in Python. OK, so this is our brute solution. We're not going to go through uh, the details for this one. I just put it here for information. We're going mainly for this one and uh, this part of the solution. So this is the efficient solution. 
we have our function, it takes our three integers, a, b, and k, and then we simply define a new value, the counter of uh, divisibles, c, it's equal to b over k minus a over k. And then I'm going to check the edge case. If a modulus k is equal to zero, then I'm going to add uh, c++. And that's it. Basically, we simply return the counter c, and this would give us 100% uh, score. In Python, it's also the similar uh, way, similar approach. Uh, this is our solution function. We have the three parameters, a, b, and k. Then we define our c variable, which will hold b over k minus a over k. Notice here that we've added the integer cast because we don't want Python to take these uh, as floating results. We need those as integers because remember these represent the number of divisibles between 0 and b. So that's the main difference here between uh, the Python solution and the C++ solution. Then we're going to test our edge case. If a modulus k is equal to zero, then I'm going to increment my counter, c equals c plus one. And at the end, we're going to return c as a result. Now, there is something here. Mathematically, b over k minus a over k can be equal to something like that, b minus a over k. Okay, so, but this one wouldn't work. You cannot replace this expression here by this one. Even if you cast it into an integer, it wouldn't work because for each number, we need the number of divisibles between zero and this particular number. And this is provided using this expression. Well, if you want to try it, go ahead with this one, but it wouldn't work. It wouldn't give you correct solutions for uh, all the cases. Okay, hope uh, you guys enjoyed this one. Good luck to you and keep practicing. See you next time.